Hey everyone, it's Emily with Hardy Soul. Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm gonna just show you how to make a simple mask. It's got two pieces of elastic that goes behind your ears. Like this. And there's enough fabric to go over your nose and under your chin. And we have been making these for a while actually. We use them as dust masks. There's a need for dust masks here in our local area with our farmers and people that are dealing with dust. Because all of the medical masks are being taken and used for medical uses. And then there becomes a need for dust masks. Uh, so I'm gonna show you how I make ours. I use these a lot when I'm spray painting or painting or when I'm in a lot of sawdust or dusty situations or cleaning out animal pens. We have a added filter on the inside which is simply a coffee filter. And it's removable so as the dust comes in and out of the mask, you can take that coffee filter out and put a new coffee filter in and you've got an, a layer of added protection in your mask. So I'm just gonna show you how I use mine. And it just goes right around your ears and up over your nose and it's enough fabric to go under your chin. And I'm just gonna show you how to make these today. This is made out of 100% cotton and it's a nine by six piece of fabric with three pleats on each edge. So to keep this nice and cozy around your face with two pieces of elastic on either edge to go around your ears. You can either use a quarter inch elastic or a half inch elastic. I just happen to have half inch on hand today. I do leave about a two inch opening on the top side of my mask so that I can fit my coffee filter inside and then put it right in and flatten it as much as possible around there. Try to make it as wide as possible on the inside. And that's it. So then you have an added layer of protection against dust and fumes and that kind of thing. And once you're done with that particular filter or you're ready to wash your mask, you just take your coffee filter out and toss this right into the laundry. My kids have been helping a lot making these masks. We are going to be donating them to some of the local hospitals and the shelters and the homes that need them right now for medical masks, but I'm just also going to be replenishing our hardware store for the people who need them for specifically dust masks so that they can use these dust masks and leave the medical masks to the people who actually need them for medical reasons. Okay, so we've got some helpers today and they are gonna show us how we do this efficiently so that we can make the most masks as possible. And what I've done is just laid out some painter's tape with the appropriate measurements so that we don't have to mess with a ruler and that kind of thing. So the girls are going to be cutting, one of them will be cutting at nine inches and one of them will be cutting at six inches. So let's start with our nine inches. Let's show them how we do this in a quick way. So we just did a little slit at the nine inch measurement and then we are just tearing all the way down this fabric here and then we've got a whole bunch of nine inch fabric to work with. So then our second station is our six inch station. And we are going to start cutting and slitting at six inches. This 
way we make sure that everything is square and straight. Rip, ripping the fabric makes everything really nice and straight. All right, and we stack them up. We've got some water in our iron today, so that hopefully we can kind of steam press all of these kind of in a pile to make things quicker and more efficient as we go along. This ironing business might be an adult job. So we're just starting with two pieces of 100% cotton fabric, and we've cut them out. This edge is six inches long, by nine inches long here. We also have a seven inch piece of elastic. You can use quarter inch elastic. This happens to be a half inch elastic. And what I'm doing is pinning the elastic from one corner and this corner, and then I'm also going to pin one here in this corner to start with. So we're starting with two pieces of 100% cotton, and we're cutting them to be six by nine. And so I've got my right sides together here and I'm just pulling one layer over like so. And then I'm going to sew around here. Now I do wanna keep one edge open so that not only can I flip this, but I can also add in a coffee filter on the inside of this mask. I'm just gonna do like a double stitch over those elastic pieces so they stay nice and sturdy. What I'm going to do is just pin him in place so it doesn't twist on me. And this is the way I've got it laid out so it's all flat from the top to the bottom. And I'm going to just leave a, like a two inch opening here on the middle of the mask so that I can flip the mask inside out and also add in that coffee filter. So now that I've got my piece all sewn around on all sides, leaving a two inch gap on the top or the bottom, whichever you decide, um, I'm going to just flip this inside out, carefully pressing out those corners. Next, we've left this little gap, and now you could simply close this gap by using just a top stitch over top of this and leaving the mask just a piece of cotton which is just fine or you can add a coffee filter in there that is removable and you can use it over time so the last step i'm going to do with this is to create a few puckers so that we can really secure it against the face the way you create a pleat is just by folding one piece of the fabric over the other piece. And then I secure it with the pin. So I'm gonna to try to do three of those. All right, so here are my three pleats, as you can see. One, two, three. And they're all about the same size. And then on the other side, you'll see what they look like when they'll be finished. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same on the opposite side here. Okay, so now once we've got both of our sides with each of three pleats, we're going to just sew along that pleat line. So this is the kind of mask I use actually when I am in a lot of dust. It also, I've come to know that 
people are needing them in the medical field and for desk masks in other professions. And so what I'm going to do with this mask also is put a coffee filter on the inside just to have an added layer of protection from dust and dirt. And that's what our guys use when we are shredding our bales and cleaning up our commodity shed and that kind of thing. So super useful for that. Thanks so much for joining us here at Hardy Soul. We're so glad you came along and watched as we made these masks today. I'm hoping that if you have a little extra time, a little talent and some extra elastic, you too can make some masks for either your home and maybe even an extra few for your local hospitals or homes that need them. I'll include the link where we will be donating our masks to down below here in the description. Thanks so much for joining me and have a great week.